Here in the US, there is a saying that put your best foot forward, right? So you want to make sure that you are highlighting your experience. So Nazarene, a surgical ICU nurse with 19 years of experience, you want that front and center so that when those hiring facilities are looking like, oh, wow, I want to speak to this nurse because look at the great experience that, that she has. Um, so here, just to kind of go down through the list, um, NCLEX pass is, of course, number one. I want to pass NCLEX. Take a look at, at your specialty. Uh, if you are more specialized, it may take a longer time to place, but that's okay because you want to focus on how much year, uh, how many years of experience you have in that in that specialty. Currently, working in an acute care setting is going to be very important because the facilities that that we work with are looking for that uh, current experience, so that when you do come to the U.S. The, the transition is not as challenging for you. Um, take a look at what your degree is, right? So bachelor's, master's, of course, you want to put that front and center as well. Um, it's not saying that diploma or, or associates are a bad thing, but depending on where you want to be, certain facilities may require that bachelor's degree. Uh, years of experience and the type of hospital experience. So again, we talked about Nazarene having 19 years of experience. So really highlight that and what kind of situations, what kind of challenges were presented during that 19 years and what did you learn from it and how can you apply that to your practice here in, in the U.S.? We talked about English language, um, your exam status. Of course, that's going to be very, very important and, and we can help you through that. So if you have NCLEX, you are currently working, we want to hear from you. If you do not have English currently, that's okay. We can help you prepare for that. Um, and also, as you're looking at what qualifications you are presenting to whatever facilities you're interested in interviewing with, concentrate on any continuing education you did, courses you did, uh, what EMRs you work with, and all of that is going to help your application stand out from the many others that we receive on a daily basis. And your recruiter will help you with that as well in making sure that we're highlighting the most applicable uh, benefits that you have to your experience to where you wanna be in, uh, in the US.